Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to do a little follow-up uh, to the video I did uh, a couple days ago talking about the Hungarian Miner uh, and my little Hungarian Miner cheat lick. After reviewing the video, I thought to myself, maybe there wasn't enough context for some people if you're not completely used to that sound or not used to playing that scale or for whatever reason it's just, you know, new for you and maybe not super familiar. So I thought uh, I would just go ahead and show you guys a couple other things you could do to help kind of establish the sound that you're going for just to make it a little more obvious Hungarian minor it's a minor scale minor chords voicings whatever the harmonies I just want to show you guys a couple other little arpeggio shapes you could use along with the one that we talked about the other day which uh, if just to refresh your memory uh, we were doing a C minor 7 flat 5 or C half diminished arpeggio over E okay so obviously that sounded super dissonant you know that that sound and so I'm thinking okay that sounds super dark and dissonant just over an E. So when you're playing a solo or trying to do some kind of improvisation, you know, at some point you're going to want to make uh, the harmonies a little more obvious to what you're doing. So if you guys thought that when you were watching this, let me, let me just show you how easily you can resolve that to sound a little more minor um, if you're wondering. So if I'm going to do like this C minor 7 flat 5 arpeggio, I can just slide up one fret with my pinky and do an E minor triad arpeggio coming down. Okay. Maybe that makes a little more sense. And if you want to get even farther, you can do like an E minor major seven. And you can throw that major seven in there. Uh, however you want to do it. Uh, sometimes I'll do... sort of thing. You can go in and out that, that way if I wanted to just do an E minor. Uh, or, or like I said, uh, so when you do that arpeggio, that E minor, that shows you another arpeggio right there. I can do a B. <laughs> there, there's so many things. Uh, I can do an augmented arpeggio using, you know, everything is, is that major third apart, and I can start that anywhere on B and just do, do augmented triad all the way up. And listen to that over E. So that's, that's kind of like, you know, hearkening back to uh, a melodic minor sound because uh, that arc, that augmented triad or arpeggio it, it's very useful for this sort of thing because it's general but it it nails some specific sounds you can also do it on any other note in there that's a major third apart you know so for instance b i can do it off of the d sharp i could do it off of the g and so on and so forth To go a step further, I could specifically do a B major 7 arpeggio. And again, we're, we're, we're playing it over this E minor. You know, there's a nice uh, Hungarian minor voicing there. time I just kind of came up with a E minor major 7 arpeggio. Just always remember to avoid that perfect fourth interval. So just a little quick recap. Not only do I have this C minor 7 flat 5, but I also have an E minor triad arpeggio. 
You can play it however you want to, it doesn't have to be just like that. E minor major seven. B major seven. Augmented arpeggio off of the five. I can do it off of the major seven. I can do it off the minor third, in this case G. that helps I just wanted to throw those in there because I know the first video that was like pretty much a, a, the most extreme harmonies I could think of from that particular scale as far as a cheat lick and I'm assuming you guys are probably already familiar with like sweep arpeggios and, and just basic triad arpeggios so I'm not going super detailed into that if you guys have any questions about that please put them in the comments and let me know I think that's enough for you this is just a follow-up to the Hungarian minor video that I made so uh, I hope that helps a little bit to drive that idea home and just add this to your playing hopefully this gives you a little more options as far as what to do before and after you play a goofy C minor 7 flat 5 arpeggio over E minor, you know. Thanks for checking that out. Cheers guys, have fun with it and let me know if this was helpful. See you next time.